Hi everybody, welcome to chapter 3, my first video on intro to programming in R. Now I, I'd like you to open up R Studio, which we installed last chapter. Um, and you should have a screen that looks like this. You'll have your console, your workspace, and either your files, your plots, your packages, or help. Now, the first thing I'd like to show you is the command that we'll use the most. And it's, you can either use it by typing in help. or question mark. Now, this command is for finding um, the documentation on a particular function. Now, we'll talk about what functions are a little later, um, but R has some things that are built in called functions, and you can also write pieces of code called functions that will do certain tasks. So this particular function is the help function and it takes you to the documentation. You see how I looked up length, which is another function in R, and it tells me exactly what length does. Get or set the length of vectors. The next thing that you're going to use the most is your working directory. So the working directory is the directory for which R automatically saves things to and draws things from. So the, the next command that you're going to use a lot is either get working directory or set working directory. Now, since my working directory is already C, users, Mandy, documents, R, I don't want to change my directory. But if I wanted to, I would type in set wd quotes, and then I would just type in what directory I wanted to be my working directory. Easy enough. Like I said, I don't want to change my working directory, but that's what you would do if you wanted to. Now, if you remember correctly from last time, um, R can be used as a just a big calculator, but we can also use it for more complicated things. So first thing I'd like to talk about is um, a general introduction to programming. So there are two different types, really, of programming languages, compilable and interpretable. Compilable languages are languages like C or Java, in which once you write a program, you have to compile it, and then it works, it, it talks to the computer to tell the computer what you want it to do. R is an interpretable language. So the code that you write in R looks a lot more like something you might, uh, a to-do list you might write. Um, it, it looks more like English. You, it's highly, it, it's pretty easy for people to figure out what your program is doing. Um, so we are going to, in the next video, we're going to talk about how a program is organized. Um, so remember, R is an interpretable language, so there are two different types of programs in R, functions and scripts. And in the next video, we will talk about the difference between the two and how to start writing programs in R. Thanks!